Hello fellows, and welcome to another episode of Tigers RC in Minecraft. Last episode we built this fancy day counter thing called the Pounder of Days, and it's telling me that it's day number 27, and right now I think we've got to figure out a way to get a more steady food supply. So I've prepared a little area. There's this nice waterfall here and so I came over here and did a little digging between episodes also kinda decorated it with these vines and stuff looks like they're already starting to grow and there's tall grass I put a button here so that eventually we can hook it up to a door that opens up here and yeah we've got a nice cave with a few mobs in it so Eventually, I hopefully will be able to make an automatic farm for each of these types of mobs. As it is, um, we can just breed them where they are. Like... Something like this. You know, make them there. That should be plenty. So we can breed them where they are, and I'm still working on the sheep in the, the, not the sheep in the grass pen, the grass in the sheep pen, so that they can um, always have wool on them. But as soon as that's done, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so yeah, eventually I would like to turn this into an automatic farming area for all of the mobs. This time though, I think we're going to concentrate on these guys. Because I find chickens really annoying. They are just so annoying to deal with, they clutter your inventory, and... Yeah, I don't like them. So, I designed a chicken farm that is going to go right here. I'm going to... actually use this chest. I'm going to put the chest for the chicken farm right there, and then the chickens will rest right on top of this block. So I'm going to gather a few more supplies, and I'll meet you when I'm ready to start building. Alrighty, I think we're ready to build. Now I remember what I forgot. I'm going to quick make some half slabs. Alright, now we're completely and totally ready to build. Um, I am going to quickly make this from memory. There, we've got two. That's all that we really need. Three's good. Are there going to be four? Nope. Alright, we'll keep on putting more in there eventually. But for now, let's move this torch up here. So here's my idea for this room. You see, I've mined it out to make it look kind of cave-like, and um, this is the only pen that actually has grass in it, and I'm going to be replacing all this dirt and stuff, but I made, it, I made it look like a cave. And my reason for that is that I want it to be an overgrown cave inside here. Something that looks like it was made a whole long time ago and there might be one or two little um, supporting posts as if somebody once lived here but is completely and totally gone or once mined here but no longer does so I think I'll start with those and they're gonna actually one of them is going to be right here if the pig would get out of my way. There. And then if we've got one on that side, the other one I think is going to go right next to the chicken farm. There. Something like that. So, I think that I'm gonna try to do some building on camera here. 
and make these look cool. Something like that. And then we need it to actually support the ceiling. So I'm going to put cobblestone there, there, with half slabs all around it. And maybe some stairs there. Nope. Apparently not. Uh, that's not working out. How about something like this? And then this can actually go higher into something like that. There's one. And... You know, I think I want it to go farther into the room. I don't like this dinky little support here. I like the fact that it looks like it's, it's leaning this way, like it, it was originally a straight support, and now it's coming over here, not really supporting. So, something like that. Oh, that's great. Then we can actually put in some lighting. Right up there, and if we do what we did before, something like this, that's good. Um, now let's actually get a few stairs, and put them right there. Actually, what we should do is get rid of these and put stairs there, there, and there. Something like that. And then what we can do, if I've got any more... Yes, I do. We can take some vines, and eventually I'm going to need some string, but hang vines like this, and a few on there, and maybe some right there. Right there, um, some right there, and that will grow over and make this look very, very old and ancient, the way that I want it to. Same if we put some right there. All right, I'm pretty happy with that support actually. Yeah, alright, I like it. Now on to this one. Okay. This is beginning to look more and more like an abandoned mine all the time. I'm liking this. Alright, so now we have to do something about these pens and the floor. Because, eh, it doesn't look that great and I want it to be more natural, I don't know, semi well trodden, semi overgrown cave. So I don't think we can have dirt. I think we're gonna have to go with stone, cobblestone, and gravel as this middle section, as well as a lot of stone steps and cobblestone slabs and cobblestone walls to make it look a little bit more... what's the word? Um, rough. Roughen it up quite a bit. So I'm gonna get some of that ready and I'll see you when I'm done. So, first things first, we're gonna place down our light sources. Getting rid of all of the light that's in here right now, 
and replacing it with the light sources. Um, I think that I'll put an actual torch on each of the uh, support beams that we've got, but that should be pretty much all of the actual visible light that we can see. Just enough to let us know that it is lit up, and so we don't have to worry about mobs spawning in here. So, one torch there, one torch there. Now we can actually place down a bunch of torches, just in kind of a random torch pattern down here. And then we can go ahead and place our light gray carpet right on top of all of those torches. I'm gonna Mind you, this does look kind of funny. Bunch of carpets on top of torches, but now what we can do is next to all of those place solid blocks on each of the sides so that it's very difficult to see the torches. Next we're going to place some stairs and gravel so that we'll... Um, that's actually fine. Although, I think, like that. We'll set it up so that there is a lot of depth in this floor. You can look down and see quite a bit of it. That's not going to work. That's actually... We've got a little bit of gravel as well, so I'm going to use that too to give it some more texture. So yeah. I think that this floor is coming along quite nicely. I think it needs a little bit of green, but we'll get to that in a sec. Keep on placing gravel and stairs and yeah so yeah I added a a little bit of greenery because it looked a little bit too gray kinda drab I'm gonna have to put some grass scaffolding and help the grass grow, but, or at least hopefully help this grass grow. Eventually it'll all move all over here, uh, but that'll take a while. But right now, I think that we gotta move on to the walls. Now. There are these nice vine thingies, which are going to grow too far, I think. This is too far. But um, I think we should add some actual leaf vines in the wall. Wow, I'm actually really liking this. As soon as this grass grows and we can get it out of the way, then this is actually going to turn out really well. Really well gonna make it nice and easy for the grass to grow, but wow. Alrighty. It's day number 34. I put down a cobblestone block for every 32, so there's two more up there. And I'm really thinking that that's looking pretty awesome. You can see I put down some bone meal, there's the nice waterfall. I think I'm gonna do some stuff with that waterfall eventually. Looks a little bit derpy right now, just on top of grass, but all of the grass and flowers and all of this stuff. There's a door there, but eventually we're gonna replace that with a piston door. Unfortunately I don't have enough slime. But on the inside, most of the grass is grown. 
There's still some grass over here that needs to grow. I find that really annoying, but it'll eventually grow. I did a little bit more adding um, cobblestone and articulation in the roof, as well as mixing this thing up. And so, yeah. I really, really like the way this, this place looks. It's turning out great. And I think that we're going to call it the Animal Cave. Tell me what you think. I quite like the name, seeing as it is a cave of animals. So, please tell me what you think of the design. I know it was kind of a buildy episode and might be boring in some parts, but it was a ton of fun to record. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think of the name. And tell me what you think of how it turned out. I really like it, so... Thank you fellows so much for watching, and until next time, so long.